I'm Randy Filio and I'm running for Akeen City Council at large. Hi, I'm Randy Filio. I'm running for Akeen City Council at large, uh, which is a citywide position. Um, for those of you not familiar with me, I am a lifetime Keene resident, born and raised here, went to public schools um, in Keene, uh, spent four years in the military. Yeah, after that, upon returning, uh, raised a family and have been here ever since. The uh, reason that I'm running for re-election is simple, really. Uh, I'd like all residents to have the city that I remember growing up in. Um, obviously, things have, have changed over the years, as they've changed in many communities, but Keene is still a very fun, friendly, safe place, and it can always be a little bit better, and as a city councilor, I'm, I'm hoping that we can improve on things. Um, like I said, I want Keene to be a safe, friendly, fun, affordable city. Uh, so how do we get to that point? Well, let's talk about that. Uh, it's been clear that I've made some comments lately on, on safety, particularly in the uh, downtown area. Um, there's no question that we need to clean up some drug dealing. We need to clean up some aggressive panhandling. Um, and we need downtown to be safe for everybody. And sometimes it might be reality, sometimes it might be perception from some. Uh, but there's no question that we have some issues that we need to um, clean up. You know, how do we do this? Well, we need more policing downtown, obviously. A little bit uh, easier to do than, than say because budgets are tight right now. But nonetheless, I'd like to work with the council and with the uh, chief of police to see if we can get some more patrols downtown to discourage the aggressive panhandling and honestly to discourage the, um, some of the drug dealing that's going on downtown. Now, I want to make it clear that I am absolutely in favor of doing everything we can for our residents that have addiction problems. Um, but with that said, I will have, and I'd like to see the city have, a zero tolerance policy for those convicted of dealing drugs in our streets. Simply no place for that, and um, that's probably uh, number one for getting our streets cleaned up. Um, as far as being a, a friendly city and, um, and a fun city, well, I'll go back to question one and clean that up and, and those two issues take care of themselves. Once your city or the perception of the city is to be safe, it becomes a much more fun, friendly community. Obviously, we have a lot of downtown events going on. Um, we need to continue those um, and get more people involved as we can. You know, the Colonial Theaters are anchor downtown and uh, it makes it a, a, a fun, um, friendly uh, downtown. But once again, we get some issues that we need to clean up. and. Um, as a councilor, that's going to be one of my priorities, is working with the council, working with the mayor, and getting our streets um, cleaned up to the point where everybody feels safe um, walking downtown again. Um, as far as affordability, well, that's the million dollar question, or the multi-million dollar question. Obviously, our city needs to work on economic development. We, we need more businesses to come in. But not only that, we need to be aggressive on keeping the businesses that we already have here stay here. Because every successful business we have here, you can be sure other communities are looking to bring them into their community. So it's a double-edged sword. We need to try to bring in other businesses. We need to keep the ones um, that we already have here. It's very important. And so we need to be uh, very friendly when it comes to development. Keene has had a perception over the years of not being business friendly. We're working on changing that. We need to be much more aggressive on, uh, on changing our personality to be business friendly. Um, now, as far as uh, councillors, including myself, we need to be more conscious with the spending that we obviously do. Uh, we, we have to look at every issue um, and make sure that anything that we're spending uh, is absolutely needed. We just can't be frivolous with taxpayers' money. With that said, we also need to demand that the state of New Hampshire send the monies that are owed to us, including uh, rooms and meals. Um, and we also need to demand from the state and from the federal government funding for the opiate addiction. I was a former firefighter and EMT for the city of Keene for five years. And back in those days, in the early 2000s, you know, we might get one or two calls a night. Now our fire and police run 24 seven handling the opiate addiction. It's, it's crushing the budgets and it's also forcing our police and firefighters to retire at an earlier age and they're harder and harder to replace. So if I'm elected to Keene City Council again, the one thing you have, my word is, I will work as hard as ever and maybe even harder than before to make Keene the fun, safe, affordable city that it should be. Thank you, and if anything else, please vote.